Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be doing a full review of the Apple MagSafe charger for the iPhone slash the 20 watt power brick combo. So the MagSafe charger and the 20 watt power brick combo. If you chose to use the 20 watt power brick um, instead of a third party uh, fast charger, I'm pretty sure most people would choose the 20 watt power brick as it its price has gone down to around $19 as I remember and uh, some people just like to stick within the Apple ecosystem, which includes even using their chargers. Um, I'll be obviously testing this, like the title said, with an iPhone 12 Pro Max, as you can see here. And uh, I'll be showing you exactly how long it takes to charge this phone from 11%, which is a rough, uh, it's a good estimate for from where people usually start charging their phones to 100%. I've already done a unboxing of, of the MagSafe charger plus the 20 watt power brick in a separate video that you can find up here. Uh, but before we jump right in, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. Also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord, and Twitter, and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. All right, let's jump right to this thing. So for a closer look at the uh, hockey puck or the charging section of the uh, MagSafe charger, I just called it hockey puck because it looks like a hockey puck. It's just slightly smaller than one as well. The center, the charging area is made of a rubberized plastic. Um, but it's still a plastic of some sort, but it, it is rubberized to keep the phone in place so it doesn't move around. The magnets also help. The surrounding and the back uh, is built of a form of aluminum. It kind of reminds me of the aluminum on the Apple Watch Series um, 1 and Series 0, the uh, 7000 series aluminum. Um, it's a really well built piece um the materials are good it's aluminum after all it's apple so you could expect great build quality it's way better built than the plastic uh, magsafe charger or the magnetic charger for the apple watch um and it feels really premium so as for the cable it is built of a similar material to that of the lightning charging cable and the cable that comes with the iphone 12 as well the uh my, the USB-C to Lightning, um, but this cable is a bit more smoother than the MagSafe cable and we have a Apple Watch uh, magnetic charger here as well. And it is also a bit smoother than the MagSafe's cable, but it could be just me feeling things differently. I also feel like the MagSafe cable is a bit thinner than this cable. Uh, the diameter is a bit less, but I have no way of confirming that as I don't have my micrometer with me right now. But I do feel it's somewhat thinner, but by a, by a really small margin. Either way, they're really well built, really well, well built cables like all Apple cables. Well, some people don't like them. Some people say they break easily, but I personally don't have that problem. Uh, really well built um, and uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. The uh, USB-C end of the MagSafe charger is slightly bigger than what comes uh, with the iPhone 12, as you can see there, it's, well, not slightly, it's considerably quite bigger. Uh, it's also way bigger than any lightning cable uh, end, as you can see here. Uh, way bigger, considerably much bigger. Um, but it's also built off the same plastic. It's really well built, it's really sturdy, and there's nothing much else to say here. The 20 watt power brick also built of the same plastic material like the uh, the the cable ends like this, the USB-C cable ends and the lightning cable ends, same sort of material. Uh, it's a really high quality plastic. The edges are quite sharp, but they're not like painfully sharp, but they are sharp. Um, well built, uh, you got the somewhat textured, well not textured, but somewhat rubberized top. Uh, plus the USB-C port there, uh, two prong for the US market, but I'm assuming it's gonna change for uh, the European and Asian markets. Um, it's a glossy finish and looks like basically all the other Apple chargers. Um, well, it doesn't look like them, but it, it is built like them because uh, most of the other Apple chargers were, uh, they looked different like, let me get an example. 
they look like this or they have that big extension part like that. So they don't look the same, but they're built of the same material. So pretty familiar there. The uh, USB-C end, when you plug it into the uh, 20 watt charger here, has a really satisfying click. Let me bring it closer for you to listen. Do you hear that? Let me do that again. It's a really satisfying click if you're into something like that. I don't know, there are some people that like that. Anyway. I also have to point out that the Apple MagSafe charger charges at a max wattage of 15 watts. Um, and this 15 watts is only attainable via a 20 watt uh, power adapter, such as the Apple 20 watt power adapter that we are testing right now. Uh, you don't have to use a Apple 20 watt. You could use Anchor or Samsung or any other decent third party brand, by the way. Don't purchase uh, like unbranded cheap stuff. Always go for a reputable brand like Belkin, Anchor, whatever, whatever. Um, but the maximum output will always be th uh, will always be 15 watts. So um, whatever phone you're charging, whether it be the 12 mini or the 12 Pro Max, the maximum output from the MagSafe charger will be 15 watts, but you do need the 20 watt power adapter to attain the 15 watts. Otherwise, if you use like an 18 watt power adapter or a 15 watt power adapter, you're gonna get like 10 to 12 watts of charging capacity. All right, so now let's go ahead and charge the iPhone 12 Pro Max and see how it goes and see how long it takes to charge from 11%, which is a good average from where people usually charge their phones. Uh, not everyone lets it drop to 0%, so 11% is a good average. The time is 1.44 on November 16th, uh, and I'm gonna place it on the charger now. It is in a case. Uh, so as to simulate actual uh, real life scenario because people uh, don't take their cases off when they're going to charge. It's also on airplane mode because um, a lot of people when they want a fast charge, they will put their phone on airplane mode to get a faster charge. So I'm going to also replicate that here. So lo let's go place it on the MagSafe charger and it starts charging. So remember, 11% at um, 144, and we'll see how long it takes to go from 11% to 100%, but I will be updating you midway as well. Okay, so we are about um, eight minutes in, as you can see here, and the battery is now 20% charged, as you can see there. So the battery percentage went from 11 to 20% in eight minutes. So that's a increase of 9% of charge. So now we are at about half an hour in and it's 40% charged as you can see here. So 40% within roughly half an hour, we put it at about, um, what was the time? It was 1.43-ish as I remember. Um, and now it is uh, 2.14, um, so roughly in half an hour, you'll get about 40% um, up from 11%. So let's keep going and see what happens. Okay, so we are now almost at the one hour mark, and as you can see, the battery is charged to 57%. So this is what we would expect from a 15 watt wireless output. So it is performing as advertised. So I'm uh, guessing maybe around another hour to uh, 100%, but it could be more, it could be less, but let's see when it comes around. Okay, so we are at 413 now and the battery percentage is 99%. It'll turn 100% any moment now. So we're looking at the an average charge time of around two hours and 30 minutes from 11% all the way up to 100%. We started this charge at um, 1.43 and now it's 4.13 and the battery just turned 100%. So 11% to 100% on airplane mode through a case. Um, the MagSafe plus 20 uh, watt uh, power brick combo will charge the iPhone 12 Pro Max from 11% to 
100% in about two and a half hours. So that is roughly uh, as advertised, the charging time as advertised, the 15 watt output charges it within two hours and uh, two and a half hours. So um, yeah, I guess uh, the results are ex as expected. So that was interesting to know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope it helped you. You now know the charging time um, of the iPhone 12 Pro Max on the MagSafe Plus 20 watt uh, power brick combo. It's two, hour, two and a half hours charging time roughly. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.